Hey everybody, welcome back. So, one thing that I personally found slightly disappointing about Ableton, but to be fair is pretty much the same in all DAWs, is the lack of a great up-to-date virtual instrument. But, thanks to a synth designer called Matt Titel, that is no longer a problem, as he made, honestly I think, one of the best synths that are currently available, and it's 100% free. Even if you went no further in this tutorial, I highly recommend that you grab it, and you will need it for this tutorial. It's really easy to get, just search for Vital Synth, and it should be the first link. And once you get into the site, just scroll down and get to the Get Vital section. If you want to pay some money towards it, you will get extra presets, but the actual synth itself is completely free and fully working. So go through the steps to set up an account. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna sign in and just select the operating system that you need, download it. Once downloaded, just install it. And my recommendation is just to install the VST3 version, it's like the foolproof method, and hit install. So once it's installed, either restart Ableton, or if you've left Ableton open, go to Options, Preferences, Plugins, and then just click on Rescan. Once you've done that, and we go over to Plugins, you'll find that Vital Audio has now been added, and we've got the Vital Instrument right here. Now what we're going to do is actually replace our grand piano. So we're just going to select the piano track as per normal, and then we'll double click Vital and it will automatically overwrite the previous instrument, but obviously it will leave all of our music on there, our chord progression. Now you could of course load this onto a new MIDI track if you wanted to, but the piano, to be fair, is just a little bit naff in comparison to what we're about to get with Vital. So if I play it at the moment, I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. It's not gonna sound great, because it's just using the default patch in Vital. So we'll change that in just a second. Just so you know, if you do close Vital or any other instrument and you want to get back to it, you need to come down to this sort of window down here and you've got this tab which represents Vital. You just click on the little spanner icon and that will show the instrument. Now, if you don't see this tab down the bottom or this window down here, say for example, you see the MIDI editor and you wanna to get to that area, you just have to come to the channel and double click and then that will appear and then you can click on the spanner icon. Now, once you have the instrument open, you can actually hit Control plus Alt plus P to hide or show the instrument. On a Mac, that's Command plus Option plus P. Now, as there are gonna be people watching this tutorial that have literally never used any kind of synthesizer before, I'm gonna keep things really simple and stick to just using the presets I made. However, if you bought the course, I actually go through and make all of the sounds in this tutorial from scratch so you can see and learn how they were all made. Those videos can be found in the work files in the extra videos folder. One last thing before we get started is I'm not gonna explain how the synth works either. We've actually made a free tutorial. So just Google Vital Synth Tutorial and if you scroll down a little bit, just look for the tutorial from born to produce so you can watch it straight on YouTube or if you come down to the organic search results, it should be the first link here from born to produce.com. And here you've got all of the videos that will teach you how to use vital. I just want to keep this tutorial as streamlined as possible and focused on you learning how to make music in Ableton rather than getting bogged down with sound design, but the info is there if you want it. Now, if you want to mess around with the presets in vital, just click up here and this will show you all of the presets that Vital comes with. Now I've got a few more because I've got the paid for version, so you'll have a few less, but you can still mess around with them. But I have provided presets in the work files specifically made for this tutorial. So to load a preset from an external source, just come up to the hamburger menu and we'll click open external preset, and then just navigate to wherever you've got the tutorial on your computer, go to the work files, Vital Patches, and we're gonna load BTP Pluck Children of the Stars. So just double click, let's play that. So much nicer than that sort of slightly naff piano. Now the next thing I want to do is get the bass line in. And then in the next lesson, we'll start looking at using plugin effects to make this all sound a bit better. So for the bass line, I want to create a new MIDI track. So I'm just gonna right click, Insert MIDI track. I'm just gonna quickly color it. Let's color it sort of pinky red again. And I'm gonna use Vital again. So let's select the channel and double click Vital. 
Once again, we are going to load a preset. So again, the hamburger menu, open external presets. So again, we go to the work files, vital patches, and we're going to double click BTP base children of the stars. You can also audition the sound on the keyboard at the bottom there. All right, so that's fine, but obviously we need some music to actually play or some notes to play the bass line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy down our main melody. Remember I said that we're gonna make all of the different parts out of this main melody. So that's what we're gonna start doing here. So by holding control or command on a Mac, clicking and dragging that MIDI segment down, that'll copy it to our bass channel. And then I'm gonna double click it and just give ourselves a little bit more room. And now we're gonna keep the bass line very simple. We're just gonna have a nice rolling bass line going all the way through. So for that, what we want to do is use the root notes of all of our chords. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna select the top two notes of every chord and delete them, leaving only the lowest note in each chord. And then we're going to expand these out so they are full length. I'm doing them individually because they're all sort of have different positions. Some of them are offbeat, so they'll all be different lengths. Otherwise you could grab them all in one go and do this, but that's not gonna work in this situation. So there we go. Now let's play it. It's just a little bit loud, so let's turn it down. Super easy. And you see what I mean by already having that musical part, we can make all these other parts. So that'll become even more clear as we go. So just gotta do a bit of housekeeping. Just gonna rename these. So I'm gonna right click and rename. I'm gonna call this Vital Pluck. And I'm gonna call this Vital Bass. Just remember if you want to see how these two sounds were created in Vital, go and check out the videos in the extra videos folder in the work files. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.